Hello everybody, today I want to talk a little bit about a classic horror supernatural television series called Night Gallery. And the crazy thing about this is, even though this is vintage and it started in 1969 and it was from the period that I grew up in, I've never seen any of these before. Can you imagine it? So I picked up this complete series DVD set, and these are all going to be first-time viewings for me. I expect to be watching these maybe like one episode every Saturday night. I'm not going to overkill it. I'm going to try to do one a week or so, and I'm going to keep you updated on them. Um, and uh, this was a series after The Twilight Zone, you know, which uh, Rod Serling uh, was known for. Rod Serling, there he is, uh, actually worked on this and there are a lot of great actors and directors associated with this series i'm coming to find and i'm very excited about it so far i've started out with watching the pilot episode the pilot episode consisting of three different stories and right off the bat the first one of these was the one i enjoyed the best it's called the cemetery and the cemetery was directed by boris Segal. And right away, you know, my ears perked up because Boris Segal <laughs> directed one of my all-time favorite cheesy films, uh, horror science fiction, The Omega Man, starring Charlton Heston. Yeah, he, he went on to direct that. And Boris Segal is the dad of Katie Segal from Married with Children. Anyway, uh, the first one is called The Cemetery, and it's about a, uh, a rich man who suffers a stroke and then he has a, a nephew played by Roddy McDowell. And I love Roddy McDowell. I, I love him in anything. Uh, he saved many a so-so movie for me. Uh, I love him, of course, in Planet of the Apes. I grew up with him in Planet of the Apes series, you know. And to see Roddy McDowell in there for the first uh, segment of Night Gallery was really a thrill. And he plays a really, really nasty character who's, of course, looking to inherit all of his sickly uncle's riches his, his uncle is uh in a wheelchair suffering uh, uh, from a stroke and uh these three segments i should mention have something in common they're tied together by the, the, the theme of a painting like an art gallery night gallery i guess and each one has something to do with a painting i think uh, the first episode the first segment i should say the cemetery is well directed it has some creepiness to it uh, Roddy McDowell is fantastic. One of the best things I've seen him do. You have Barry Atwater in here as Mr. Carson. You have Ossie Davis as Osmond Portafoy. Uh, first, when I first saw the movie, I thought incorrectly, thankfully, that uh, the Roddy McDowell character was insulting the African American. A character calling him Porter Boy. I thought he was like kind of insulting him, but no, his his name is Portafoy. So, uh, and then uh, George McCready uh, plays uh, William Hendricks. So um, yeah, it's very very good. The first one I liked it a lot. Now the other two of the pilot um, had diminishing returns for me. I didn't really enjoy the other two as much as I did the cemetery one. Second one is. Uh, called Eyes, and get a load of this. When the name popped up, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was directed by Steven Spielberg. Now, we're talking about 1969, which makes me think Spielberg was like 23 years old. This was a few years before he would direct the classic Jaws, so he had to be pretty young in here. And uh, also exciting here is that we have Joan Crawford, Joan Crawford plays a uh, a woman who's been blind since a birth, and, and she wants to, to see. So she gets uh, some eyes, uh, if I get this right, I'm trying to read about it, d donated by Tom Bosley, Mr. Cunningham of Happy Days of All People. And, uh, you know, she, she's able to see again. She wants to re she, well, see for the first time, really. Uh, she's never been able to see. She's uh, a wealthy person, and uh, there's a little bit of a twist, though, as to when she does regain her eyesight. It's kind of an irony, a kind of we weird twist that happens, but I don't know. I expected a little something more out of that one, but it's okay. It's not bad. You also have Barry Sullivan as the doctor in this. All right, the final segment of the pilot is called The Escape Route, 
and uh, directed by Barry Shear. And this is about a Nazi war criminal who was hiding out in South America. And he wanted to be a fisherman. And as I say, all of these have, some, have something to do with paintings in, involved. Um, I can't tell too much of the story, but uh, yeah, it has to do with him, uh, you know, being sought after because he's a criminal, war criminal. And um, he tries to kind of get into a painting. He wants to kind of get it. He wants to be just a relaxed fisherman and get out of all this. And it has to do with the painting. I can't, you know, it's a shame you can't say too much. Having to get into the painting and take on the, the world of the fisherman is a, is a painting that he really enjoys of a, a fisherman in, in a little rowboat. A nice tranquil lake, you know. And uh, in this movie, I got a kick out of seeing Sam Jaffe in there, who I know uh, best for the movie Ben-Hur. You know, one of my favorite movies, he's in that. And we also have, uh, as the, the, the war criminal, uh, Richard Kiley. And then we have Norman Crane. Norma, I'm sorry, Norma Crane uh, and George Murdoch. So anyway, I'm reading a little bit about this. It says that uh, since its original broadcast and later re-airings, the second segment, Eyes, has remained the most popular segment uh, among, among the three Night Gallery entries. And it says probably because it was the directorial debut. It says 22-year-old, 22-year-old Steven, Steven Spielberg. And, of course, it has Joan Crawford in it. Well, those, those are what, what's exciting about it, the fact that you have... Uh, the direction by Steven Spielberg, which, quite frankly, didn't exactly blow me away, but it was okay for a, for a young guy at the time. And Joan Crawford, of course, being in it, that's a big deal. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to read some of the information here. I won't share it with you. I'm just reading, I'm getting carried away reading the, the info here myself. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you a little something on this. Night Gallery. My introduction to Night Gallery. Uh, I enjoyed the cemetery the best, the other two a little less, but uh, no real complaints. It was enjoyable, the whole pilot. Talk to you soon.